Oh, okay. So, here, here's the thing. This was my favorite street race sequence in the entire franchise for a long time. Until I kind of realized the final race in Tokyo Drift is probably better. Mainly because the number of cuts in this sequence is insane. I used to li- What was that? That sounded like a V10. Some kind of JDM. Mm, Brian Skyline. Please wait while directions are downloaded. Hold on. So we got... This is an M... No, that's just a 5 series. Is this an M5? Which of these was making V10 sounds? Wasn't the Nissan? Was it the BMW? Why is it making V10 sounds? I mean, that's cool. But why? Also, the music for this, Brian vs. Dom, is one of my favorite scores from this, this movie, this franchise, and it's by Brian Tyler, once again. Proceed to the highlighted route. So apparently, the director's inspiration for ha having them use a GPS is he was driving one day, and his GPS was being annoying, and it was saying, please, make a U-turn, rerouting, some other bullshit. That was his inspiration. I <laughs> just think, <laughs> great, awesome. Six. You sure you want to do this? Five. A lot has changed. No. No, no, nothing's changed. Three. <laughs> the good noise! One. Go. I I'm sorry. W why? Why do we have the graphics? That's like a fucking like, early 2000s arcade set of graphics. That wasn't a massively unrealistic wheelie. His tires weren't spilling. Spinning? Spilling? Because in the first film, he does a burnout and a wheelie. And you just go, that seems a bit unusual. But then you have a whole bunch of people in the comments going, Actually! Actually! I think you'll find... <laughs> that... <laughs> you can do a burnout and a wheelie. And I'm like, okay, fine. I honestly don't care. You seem very angry, though. That's like four or five, maybe even six cuts for one f***ing drift. It's like a f***ing Marvel action sequence. Cut, 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 cut. Looking this way. Transition cut. This over that way. Shift. The establishing shot is the longest shot in the entire thing. And it's shaky as well. That's so unnecessary. I'm up to you, ben. Get all smart. The f does that even mean? He's not even blue. The car isn't even blue. Brian is blue. He's the Smurf. I'm pretty sure it's just vaguely racist somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Did he shift or was that a clutch kick? His reaction to having a car in front of him... Hold on. Let's watch Brian's Dom, Brian's reaction to having a car in front of him. Okay, fair enough. Okay. You know what? Fine. Whatever. He did hit the brake, push in the clutch, but then he also instinctively downshifted, maybe? He pulled it downwards. Did he go from third to second? What did he shift to? He didn't shift up. Why would he go to th from third to fourth? That would make no sense. What the f***? Did, he, did Brian add a turbo since the race started? Because that doesn't sound like a single turbo R34. I think they're using new audio recordings of an RB26 on top of audio recordings of from the old film. That's weird. I like that the M5 for some reason has a V10. Right turn ahead. I guess to an ordinary human being, it would... An M5 with a V8, with a muscle car with a V8, is gonna sound exactly the same. So you gotta have, you gotta have different sounding cars, because you got the Skyline with that distinct inline six, you got the, the S14 with some kind of four cylinder sound, maybe SR20 recordings, I don't know. You got the muscle car with the V8. 
So what do you do with the BMW? It. It's gonna have 10 cylinders. Okay, that was three three takes, three cuts, whatever. You probably could have just given us the whole thing and just let it last a little longer. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, you didn't need that many takes for that, did you? You didn't need that many angles for that, did you? They're using the single turbo sounds. Um, really? <laughs> and then that just- that just f***s Brian up for the rest of the race. I hate it. I think it's because he's not listening to it. I don't know. I feel like if he had listened to it, he might have not had this problem. Like, turn left! No! Turn left! No! Please listen to me. <laughs> I will get you there, I promise. See straight ahead. I, I, uh, I, if I was in Brian's position, I'd slow down just a little bit and zoom out to see where everything is, and then quickly figure out what direction I need to go in. Rerouting. Rerouting. Also, this, this is a surprisingly busy alley. Like, why are people walking through here? Apparently, because everyone likes to tell us this, so I'll just say it so that no one else does, and the comments don't get flooded. Apparently, that's just a VW buggy or whatever, a Beetle, with an R34 shell on top of it. Alright. I told them. You don't need to tell them now. Shut up! That's fair. Whoa! Why is the 3D graphic the Too Fast, Too Furious car? Why is it so detailed? Oops, out of seat. Yeah, I'd say something like that, playing Need for Speed. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Oh, you're dead? That's a shame. What are you doing? Brian! That's a really detailed GPS for 2009. Literally got like, it, it, it tells you the elevation. You've got the elevation difference here. It's got the fucking street lights here. It's twin turbo again. Now it's, I don't know, it sounds like it's got like a mine's equal length front pipe on it or something. It's got like that kind of high pitched kind of note to it. You turn if possible. Are you kidding me? You're not even on the road! It should be like, get back on the road. Sorry car. <laughs> Sorry car. <laughs> I like that they felt the need to add that. Brian, uh, Paul, so th for this shot, for this take, we we'd like you to Apologize to your car <laughs> for crying out loud. You are now one mile. I do remember in the director's commentary, the director saying, So we actually did do this with an R34, but we didn't do it with a, a GTR because we were like, We're not gonna <laughs> plow a GTR through this. These, these cars are too special. I, I remember the director saying something like that. Why do we have all these freaking cuts? Oh, that's new. I thought I thought we were just going to have a repeat of what happened in um we'll get to him flipping over for no reason in just a second, but in Tokyo Drift, they they made a theme, a lay motif out of pit maneuvering someone by slowing down as they're trying to ram you so that they're quarter panel, rear quarter panel, lines up with the front of your car perfectly. In this, Dom just decided, I'm gonna time it just right, and then I'm gonna speed up. When he could have just done that anyways, but no, he just did it for dramatic effect. So I'm just like, but then, then, he just flips over for no reason. <laughs> like, did he hit the curb? Is this Gary's mod physics? What happened? 
Did Brian even need to go onto the exit ramp? This seems unnecessary. Okay, um, let's just go back. How many takes does it take to do one f***ing drift? <laughs> We're on our first take, our first, first cut, whatever. I don't know why I keep saying take. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Seven. Eight, nine. There's a fucking fire hydrant there. Why does the GPS need to have a fire hydrant there? I guess it's good to know, so you don't park there, but you could also just lose- use your- your fucking eyes and- and not park in front of the fire hydrant, I guess? That's- that's literally not relevant to your route at all. Uh, unless if your GPS is there to say, Fire lane, don't park here, but this is like a main road. Clutch kick. And then he hit the nitrous. Why did he do that? I need to know. I'm probably never going to run nitrous in any of my cars ever, ever but why, why would you clutch kick, melt your clutch, and then hit the nitrous button? Why would you do that? Too early, Dom. Too soon, Junior. But also, is Brian almost out of, out of gas? Is that the fuel gauge that I'm looking at there? Yeah, this is the fuel gauge. Brian has a fuel light on. Brian. How are you almost out of gas? <laughs> In the middle of a race. That doesn't seem smart. Imagine running out of fuel right before the end of a race. Which happened, by the way, recently, to a Mercedes in an IMSA race. And that allowed a BMW to win, so that's okay. But man, that gotta, that's gotta suck. Um, also, can you just use nitrous like it's a fucking video game and just use it whenever? Like, can you just be, like, in the middle of, like, driving on the highway, and you're just driving, and you're like, I feel like going a little bit faster. So you use the nitrous? Is that... Isn't there, like, a procedure for how to use it properly? Or can you just use it when you're coming out of a corner, and you want to leave the corner a little faster? What the f*** does scramble boost mean? That was a gunshot noise. Alright. That was a gunshot noise. <laughs> that was literally a gun noise. No. Still a bus. Your destination. Goodbye. What's the point of those pictures? It's just who programmed this? At least we know you can't beat me straight up. I didn't know there were any rules. <laughs> Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> That's what I call a real driver. Now that's bullshit, man. Go cry to your mama, eh? That was not an unreasonable response from Brian. I've seen some pretty f***ing hilarious videos of people bitching and moaning about how they lost a race. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty funny. Oh, man.